Hey guys, so today I'm going to unbox this phone lot I got from Tech.YT. You may remember about a year ago I bought a phone lot from him, but that was mainly parts phones and coincidentally those ended up getting all smashed pretty much. Um, but today with my first YouTube check, I bought another phone lot from him and I'm going to unbox it. I paid $100 for this and I'd say it was a pretty good deal. It's a phones I was planning to trade for but yeah and sorry if I sound tired I literally just woke up <laughs> this just came in the mail I've been very very excited for this um so yeah we're gonna get into it but before I want to thank you guys obviously for allowing me to be able to buy this because without you guys I wouldn't have made any money and I wouldn't be able to do this so yeah thank you guys so much oh, oh. yeah so let's just get into this I already took off the shipping label and stuff like that so yeah Okay, so starting off, um, this is a LG Phoenix 4. This one is for parts. Um, you may know I found one of these in the Target bin. It has a bad charging port, kind of. The charging port on it is dying, so I wanted this one for parts. And I will use it for parts, so I can use the charging port off of it. Yeah, it just has a bad LCD. Oh my god. I did... It, um, apparently he included these. Thank you, Ryan. Um... <laughs> I don't even know where he got these, but that's kind of fun. I didn't know he was going to include those. But, anyway. So, moving on. This is a LG G4 Vigor. It's pretty much LG G4, just with slightly worse specs. Around the same size, too, I believe. It just doesn't have a battery. He bought this a long time ago. No idea if it still works, to be honest. He just kind of threw it in. So, yeah. Let, I'll have to see if it works if I have a battery for it. Let me actually see here. Oh, yeah, I definitely have a battery that fits in that thing. Yeah. Yeah, that should be okay. That should not be an issue at all. Okay. Moving on. This is an iPhone 6. Oh, wow, it has a really crappy replacement screen. This phone is water damaged and shows absolutely no signs of life and is iCloud locked. And this Galaxy S5 has a bad AMOLED, as you may be able to see. What am I going to do with these phones? I'm going to do a drop test comparison video on them. Because these phones came out relatively at the same time, and they're both for parts. He kind of included some phones as a smash pile, and this was two of them. I'll tell you what other ones are, are when I take them out. But yeah, these were two of the smash pile phones. So I'm going to drop test compare these videos. Or drop test compare these phones, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, put that to the side. Okay, moving on. This is a Microsoft Lumia 640. Um, you may know my history with these, how I absolutely love them because I used to main one. Um, yeah, this one's in pretty good condition minus the button thing, but I have a flip cover blue case for these, so I'm going to put that on it probably. Yep, turns on. And here, what's this? Oh, um... Here's another Smash Pile phone. This is an iPhone 4S. I'm just going to smash this in my free time. Um, it has a bad LCD. Let me see if it has any battery life. Yeah. As you can tell, the LCD is screwed. And apparently the motherboard's bad, too. Oh. This is booting. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Metro PCS. I've never seen one of those on Metro. Um... Yeah, works fine. Anyway, moving on. Uh, take this out. Ooh, ooh. I've been looking forward to this. This is a Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. Um, this phone apparently also works fine. I'm actually going to take off the screen protector because it is bubbly and stuff. And it's just a shitty plastic one. But yeah, I've been looking forward to this phone. It's an AT&T model. I have the S4 Mini. And I've wanted the S3 Mini. Let's see if it's charged. No, oh, I guess it's dead. Eh, whatever. Um, I'm going to shut this off. I don't know why I turned it on. <laughs> okay, moving on to the main phones. These are the phones I really wanted and are good, <laughs> I guess. Okay, starting off, this is a Samsung Galaxy A10e. I've wanted one of these working since it came out for some reason. I just really like this phone, so... Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and it's charged. Next is, what's this? Oh, this is a HTC U11 Life. 
It's the U11, just cheaper. Um, he bought this a while ago on eBay, and um, he we we I was originally gonna trade for this, but he just thought he'd include it in the lot. Let's see if this is charged. Yeah, it is. Oh, well, that's a good vibration motor. Everything's cold, so that's why the screens are all screwy. Oh, I'm just gonna shut this down. Obviously works. Basically, a smaller version of my A10e, or no, my A50. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Sorry, someone was literally moving a freaking table downstairs and you could hear it. Okay, oh, I guess this is turning on. Um, anyway, this is a Samsung Galaxy J7 Refine. Um, you may know I have two other of these in black and uh, blue. <laughs> um, the reason I traded for this one is he found it in the target bin. He said, I'm gonna give this to you because you need to have all three colors. So yeah, now I have the gold one. <laughs> this one is on Boost Mobile. And yeah, looks like this works. Just gonna shut it down for now because I'm not gonna set that up until later. We've gone. Um, this phone, there's actually a backstory to this. This is an LG V40. So he kind of, he was just gonna give this to me because he's been trying to get rid of it for, for a while and he just couldn't. So he decided he'd just give it to me and I actually helped him out a very good at a target one time when he almost got caught I gave him a very good suggestion on what to do and um, he was like thank you so much I'm giving this to you <laughs> so yeah um, this is an LG V40 it has a bad ESM on Verizon and it's cracked but it's not cracked bad and it works fine yep works perfectly fine here's the J7 I'm gonna shut that back down this one has a really yellow tint to the screen compared to my other ones hmm, weird and now on to the, or first, I'm just going to let this turn on so I can show you guys that it works. It has burn in in the middle of the screen. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a message saying SIM not provided or provisioned or whatever. But yeah, the back of it is in mint condition. It's in pretty good condition all around. It's just the screen. So. I'm just going to shut that back down. Because I'll set it up later. Okay. Now, the last phone. Now, this is a phone I have wanted since it came out. This is a phone I, I've always wanted this thing. This is a Nextbit Robin. Now, you may remember these were a Kickstart campa er, campaign phone. that didn't go too well, but I've always wanted one of these phones because they're just so freaking cool. Um, let me see if I can take off the case. don't know how oh that's how okay yeah here it is um it has little leds on the back of it i don't know if you can see let me see if i can turn it on oh it's missing the sim card tray i forgot about that apparently the battery and the power button are also a little weird but whatever i'll figure it out later it might just be dead honestly but yeah this is an unlocked next bit robin 32 gig um doesn't appear to be Bend, or maybe it is a little bit bent yeah these things bend really easily but yeah like i said i've wanted one of these since it came out it's the coolest freaking phone ever in my opinion and i'm just happy to have one so yeah all right guys so i have literally spent all day setting all of these phones up <laughs> and when i mean all day i mean i started at 11 in the morning and it's now 8 30 at night so yeah it's taken me like nine hours to get everything all situated with these <laughs> And that's usually ha what happens when I get a phone trade or a big lot. It takes a while to actually get everything set up and rolling. But I also had class and stuff like that today, so that did interfere. But anyway, I'm going to go over everything I got and just show you it all set up. Starting off with these two, obviously. These don't work. Um, bad AMOLED here. This is horridly water damaged. Um, they're both getting drop tested, even though this has a crappy replacement screen that's falling off. Whatever. <laughs> Um, and now moving on to the phones that actually work. Actually, I should do this because this LG G4 Vigor works and I can demonstrate that by plugging it in. It shows the no battery screen because I don't have a battery that fits in, unfortunately. It's a very specific battery, like, style, I don't know. And it was just impossible for me to find one that actually worked. So I'll probably buy a battery for this eventually because it's essentially just a slightly smaller LG G4 that doesn't boot loop. So I kind of want it working. 
And apparently it's the same processor as the LG G4 from when, what I was doing research-wise, but it just didn't boot loop. I don't know if that's... I don't know. I'll have to figure out when I get it working. But yeah, moving on. This is the first working phone, like actually working phone. This is a Galaxy S3 Mini. It is mint condition on at and It's running Android 4. I don't remember what version. I can check that here. Um, it's an 8GB running Android 4.4.2. Huh, that's weird. I'm pretty sure that's the same exact thing as my S4 Mini. But yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. I should probably actually submit an unlocking request for it just because. But yeah, it works perfectly fine. Uh, no issues at all. Moving on, this is the Microsoft Lumia 640. Um, you may have noticed this was not the back cover on it. This is actually a flip cover case from my original Lumia 640 when I used to main it. I just put it on here for nostalgia reasons. Uh, this thing is uh, 8 gigabyte as they all are. On, oh, let me turn on the brightness so you can actually see it. It's on Windows Phone 10. There, low brightness. But yeah, it works perfectly fine. It's a Metro PCS model. Mine was originally AT&T when I used to main one. But yeah, works, no issues. Oh. Oh, that's just a reminder I sat a long time ago as a joke. Moving on, this is the HTC U11 Life. It also works fully. It's on Android 8. Um, it's T-Mobile. For some reason, it can't be unlocked, but eh, it works perfectly fine. It's a 32 gig. It's actually a pretty good phone. It has a Snapdragon 630, and yeah, it has no issues at all besides the slightly cracked screen, as you can see up there. But yeah, pretty nice phone nonetheless. I've wanted a newer HTC phone for a while, or HTC phone for a while. So yeah. And next is the next bit, Robin. I'm actually going to switch the hands I'm using to hold the, uh, the camera because uh, the power button seems a little wonky. Ah, it actually worked first try that time. <laughs> but yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. And just listen to this lock and unlock noise. It sounds so cool. I turn it back on. <laughs> it, it just sounds so cool. But yeah, this is a very nice phone. It's unlocked to all carriers. Unfortunately, the battery on it is also trashed. Um, I don't know, maybe someday I'll replace it, but for now it's perfectly fine. It works. Okay. Aha, I actually got it to, actually it's probably just gonna, actually I should leave that plugged in and just charging over to the side yeah we're just gonna do that okay moving on this is a galaxy j7 refine and as you may know i have the two other colors of this let me actually show you okay so here's the black one it's a track phone model and here's the j7 star the j7 star the blue one is actually the best model of these phones it has the best vibration motor and the most storage at 32 gigs this one has 32 gigs but has a really bad vibration motor just as the model does. And it's on Boost Mobile, which is really stupid because it's Sprint and Sprint sucks. <laughs> but yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. It's a 32 gig running Android 9. Um, it's a pretty nice phone. It has 407 charge cycles, which isn't terrible. Um, but yeah, pretty nice to have this phone. The gold color looks pretty nice on it, but personally, I like the blue one the most. Moving on, this is the Galaxy A10e. It is also on Boost Mobile. Waiting for it to take my face. It's running Android 9. For some reason, it didn't get upgraded to Android 10, even though these things did get Android 10. I can actually try again. Never mind, it's not on my Wi Fi. <laughs> but yeah, it works perfectly fine. Um, I like it a lot. This thing is literally brand new. It only has like 30 charge cycles. Yeah, 36 charge cycles. So it is brand spanking new. And yeah, I've wanted an AT&E for so long. I've wanted them since they came out. I just thought they were really nice. And I finally have one. So yeah, even though it's not that great of a phone in reality. <laughs> and moving on to the best phone. This is the LG V40. It is where it works perfectly fine on Android 10. Um, it has a few issues though. It has a bad ESN. The screen is slightly cracked, really just right there. And then there's that one hairline. It's not bad at all in person. You don't even notice it. And it has some burn-in. Let me see if I can show you that. As you may have saw in the earlier part of this video, it has uh, the burn of a SIM card screen. I don't know. But yeah, it works perfectly fine. I've wanted an LG V40 for a while, ever since I got rid of my G7. And this is just a G7 on steroids, really. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to have it. 
and I'm just going to shut it down for now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me unboxing and having an overview of the lot I purchased off of Tech That YT. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.